Let's read the question. Find the equation of locus of P if the ratio of the distance from P to 5 comma minus 4 and 7 comma 6 is 2 is to 3. Here they are saying the question is that there is a line like this. Okay. To this line, the point, the first point, if we just say, suppose the point will just take it as A. Okay. Uh, the coordinates of A is 5 comma minus 4. And there is another point that is B. And the coordinates of this point is 7 comma 6. And there is a point P at certain position. Let's say this is the position P. At this P position, uh, we don't know where this point is. Let's say that point is PX comma Y. So the ratio from A to P, the ratio is 2. And from P to B, the ratio is 3. So this is the information which they have given. Now they are asking us to find the equation of this particular point P, which is lying between these two points A and B. All right. So this is the question which they are saying. So let's try to do this. So first we'll write the given points. So I'll write here given points are. So we have taken the points as A in the figure itself. So that is I'm taking A 5 comma minus 4 and the other point they have given it as 7 comma 6 that I'm taking as B. So let we also say the P that we are writing as X comma Y. So I'll write this is a point on the locus. Okay. So generally locus in the sense it is like a free space. Okay. So now we'll write even given condition that is 2 is to 3 they have given right. So that condition I'm writing. So I can write here given condition. So when we see the figure also uh, this is the first length is that is the distance from PA or AP and the second distance is PB or BP. All right. So we'll write the same here. So the given condition is PA by PB equal to. So when we see this PA that was 2 is the ratio and PB the ratio was 3. All right. So this if I just cross multiply this I can write it as uh, 3 goes over here to PA and PB comes to 2. So I can write this as 3 PA equal to 2 PB. So this is the uh, condition we'll use it and now we'll solve this particular question. All right. So this 3 PA equal to 2 PB will just squaring on both sides. So I can write here squaring on both sides. Right. So now if I square on both sides, I should write this like this 3 PA whole square equal to 2 PB whole square. So when we square the 3 square will become 9 and this PA whole square is remain. And this is 2 square is 4 and this PB square is remain. All right. So now for this PA and PB, we're just finding out the distance from point P to point A. So this is nothing but we're just finding out the distance you can see here in the figure. So we're just finding out the distance from point A to point P. Okay. So to find out that we'll use the distance between two points formula. So the distance between two points formula I'll write over here just beside. So distance between two points. So let's say uh, the point we're just taking as P A, right? So that is X2 minus X1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square uh, as we're sending see this is pa square right so the square is over this side so we need not to write root over this side so distance of two distance between two points this is a formula we'll use it and we'll just submit over here all right so i'll write here nine into uh, the distance formula i'll write x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square in the same scenario will apply distance between two points even for PB also. So I'm just writing that directly uh, for this nine. Actually, I should write brackets. So we'll write this also. So this also will write in brackets. So I'm not writing this separately again. So I think you already understood what is distance between two points. So for PB also, I'm writing X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. So this is the distance between two points that is from P to A. Here we have written and P to B we have written over here. All right. So now we'll just take the points and we'll just submit over here. All right. So the P point we have taken as X comma Y and the point A that we have taken as 
5 comma minus 4 all right so here this 5 and minus 4 this will just take it as x1 y1 and this p will just take it as x2 y2 so these two points will just submit in this particular first valued so i can write here 9 into so x2 we have taken as x and x1 we have taken it as 5 so this is x minus 5 whole square uh, this is uh, plus and y minus uh, this is minus of minus plus 4 so y plus 4 whole square so bracket close so this is equal to 4 into this is x2 so now in these terms we have to take the x term and now we'll be taking other term for b so what is a b point that is 7 comma 6 so this b will just take x1 y1 and this p x comma y we are taking it as x2 y2 so let's submit this so i can write this as uh, x minus 7 whole square and this is plus y minus 6 whole square all right so let's try to solve this further so this is 9 uh, so if you just observe this is in the form of a minus b whole square so i'll write here a minus b whole square in the sense a square plus b square minus 2ab is a minus b whole square i will write for a plus b whole square also all right so a plus b whole square is what a square plus b square plus 2ab so these are the two formulas which we are using in this particular problem all right so here we are using a minus b whole square formula here a plus b whole square here a minus b here a minus b so let's do that so i can write this as x square plus minus 5 whole square and this is what minus 2 into x into 5 and this is y square plus 4 square and this is plus 2 into y into 4 and we'll write even this side values also so i can write here and that is equal to 4 into so this is x square plus 7 square minus 2 into x into 7 uh, this plus so this r is one term plus this is y square plus 6 square minus 2 into y into 6 so these are all another term okay so let's try to solve this further and we'll see what do we get over here so i can write this as 9 into x square plus 5 square is 25 and this is 5 to the 10 so this is 10x so this is plus y square plus 4 square is 16 plus 4 to the 8 so this is 8y equal to 4 into this is x square plus 7 square is 49 minus 7 to the 14 so this is 14x this is plus y square plus 6x six, six is 36 6 to the 12y all right so let's solve this more simply so i can write this as 9 into x square then I'm writing this in sequence, so x square plus y square minus 10x, and this is plus 8y, and this 25 plus 16, if you just observe, then I can write this as plus 6 plus 5 is 11, 2 plus 1, 3, that is 41. All right, so we'll write this also in sequence, 4 into x square plus y square minus 14x, and this is minus 12y, and this uh, 49 plus 36 in the sense we can write this 9 plus 6 uh, which is uh, 15 and this is 3 plus 4 this is 8 so 85 so this is plus 85 all right so now uh, we'll just solve this further uh, for that i'll just multiply this 9 inside over this side so i can write this as 9x square plus 9y square and this is 10 nines it was 10 nines it was 90 so i can write this is 90x plus uh, 9 eights it was 72y all right and when we just multiply 9 into 41 we'll be getting that as 369 and this also will just submit inside so this is 4x square plus 4y square and this is so if we just multiply this 14 into 4 we are getting that as 56x and when it comes to this uh, we just multiply 12 into 4 that will be getting that as 48y uh, plus this is 85 into 4 if we just multiply uh, that we are getting this as 340 all right so now uh, we'll just try to solve this further and let's see what do we get here the value as all right so i'll bring everything to one side first 
So I'll be getting 9x square plus 9y square minus 90x plus 72y plus 369. So this is minus 4x square minus 4y square minus 5 that is minus 56x and this is minus 4 oh, as we are bringing this side the sign of this also has to say so this is plus 56x and this is plus 48y this is minus 340 equal to 0 all right so these are the values which we got we'll try to solve this further uh, further see uh, as the c's uh, 9x square and this is minus 4x square so here we'll be getting 5x square this is plus 9y square this is minus 4y square so here we'll be getting 5y square all right this is minus 90x and this is plus 56 all right so this also if we just observe this is minus 90 and this plus 56 for that we are getting this as minus 34x so this 72y and this is plus 48y uh, so if we just add 72 plus 48 we are getting that as 120 plus 120y and this is plus 369 and this uh, minus 340 so this is 369 minus uh, this is 340 we are getting that as uh, plus 29 equal to 0 all right so here this is the obtained equation for us okay that is 5x square plus 5y square minus 34x plus 120y plus 29 equal to 0 is the obtained equation so this is the equation uh, of the particular point p which is lying here so we'll just uh, see the figure back again so this point p x comma y equation we got it just now all right so we'll write the conclusion that therefore the locus of p x comma y is 5x square plus 5y square minus 34x plus 120y plus 29 equal to 0 okay so this is all about this particular question